Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania gets last laugh on nasty congressional candidate who called her a prostitute. First Lady Melania Trump was bashed by a nasty congressional candidate who spoke of her as if she was a prostitute who works by the hour. That's clearly not true as she's actually working as the First Lady, doing things that matter, and many people believe she's doing a fine job at it. She got the last laugh though, because now it seems like the candidate, Mark Roberts, might not be getting the response he wanted. In fact, some are not exactly sure what response he was looking for because what he said toward Slash about Melania was quite bizarre to say the least and certainly uncalled for. It was Charlie Kirk, a conservative, who talked about Melania having less staff working under her than Michelle Obama did. Certainly, to some, that seems like she's saving money and getting things done with less people. Roberts didn't appear to like that very much and he stated that Mrs. Trump works by the hour and also referenced her as a hobag. He did not say prostitute but most people would put hobag and works by the hour together as the terms usually arranged for when someone gets a prostitute. At this point, Roberts might need to invest in some of those himself, because his disrespectful words towards women might find him lonely once in a while. Melania sure got the last laugh here as people easily defended her, especially pointing out the double standard of intolerance that one side has had the freedom of doing while the other side is criticized for it. Perhaps the playing field is leveling out and we're all playing dirty now. Conservative news and views have been getting trashed for a while now, but those on that side seem to have been responding respectfully to the brash attacks from their opponents. It's a political war zone out there right now. Should the field be leveled even more? Should everyone play dirty now? Nick Arama wrote. On Monday, an Oregon congressional candidate, Mark Roberts, tweeted a despicable attack on First Lady Melania Trump, likening her to a prostitute. After backlash, not only has he not taken it down but he's doubled down on the attack and the First Lady's office has responded. Conservative Turning Point had Charlie Kirk tweeted about how Melania Trump was responsible for saving a lot of money by greatly reducing her staff, compared to the staff of Michelle Obama. Roberts responded by asking Kirk if he knew the First Lady works by the hour, and then he placed hashtags on the words, Think Dirty and Hobag. Works by the hour is a common way of indicating the person is a prostitute. When Roberts was asked about his comment by the Daily Caller News Foundation, his response was, I think the answers to your questions are self-explanatory. Have a god, sick, day and keep the donations coming. After he received a lot of backlash, he doubled down with another insult. From BizPack Review when a social media user reminded Roberts that Trump successfully sued the Daily Mail for reporting that Melania once worked as an escort, he turned his hate-filled venom on President Trump. I invite that hose bag to sue me, tweeted Roberts, who would thrive on the added notoriety. Donald Trump Jr. wondered why there was no action taken by Twitter. They are still up, Twitter has determined that they are not a violation of Twitter's terms of service. Imagine if a conservative tweeted this. Imagine if anyone said this horrific statement about Michelle Obama, he tweeted. Their life would ruin an account deactivated. Twitter is becoming a platform for hate against conservatives at Jack. And the First Lady's office also weighed in, calling Robert's attack disturbing and despicable. From Daily Caller This is just more hypocritical intolerance from those who oppose her husband's administration. To say such ugly words about a mother. Wife and our First Lady is not just a pathetic attempt at getting himself in the news, it is disturbing and despicable, the First Lady spokesperson Stephanie Grisham said in a statement to CNN. Classy. And amen. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.